still tracking the big story beyond the Bay, a chase and shooting in Washington, D.C. That chase ended with a woman shot dead. The shooting shut down the Capitol this afternoon, and lawmakers are on Twitter posting about what was happening, and some amazing pictures were also posted online. Bay News 9's Annie Manuel joins us from the Web Center with more. Veronica, many people, including our congressmen and women, took to social media during this crisis. Let me show you just some of the pictures that many people posted, people in and around the Capitol, where you really get a sense of just what the tension was like on Capitol Hill. I mean, can you even imagine what these people were thinking, how frightened they must have been? There they are laying on the ground, shielding their heads from the gunfire. And just take a look, police running out to help. You can see them with large guns. and. Here's another picture of just the great response that police had. I mean, when you're this close to the White House and this close to the Capitol building, you can be sure the response from law enforcement is going to be strong. And check out what happened to this police cruiser. You can see it's just smashed on one side. Now, Congresswoman Kathy Castor, she got on Twitter right away tweeting this. I just returned from voting at Capitol when alert issued. Everyone here safe and sound. Congressman Gus Bilirakis, he took to Twitter as well, writing, Thank you for your calls and messages. My staff and I are safe and accounted for. Please keep everyone involved in your thoughts and prayers. Finally, Marco Rubio, Senator Rubio, when this was all over, he tweeted, Special thanks to the Capitol Police for being our thin blue line. But some lawmakers' tweets were not without controversy, and some even deleted their tweets. But this website, the Sunlight Foundation's PolitiWoops, that's what it's called, PolitiWoops website. It actually captures these deleted tweets, including this one. I want to show you particularly this one from Republican Congressman Tim Griffin from Arkansas. He wrote, in the moments just after the shooting, stop the violent rhetoric, President Obama, Chuck Schumer, and Nancy Pelosi. Hashtag disgusting. Well, that tweet is now absent from his Twitter account. You won't find it anywhere on here. And he released a statement saying the victims and their families are in his prayers and no one but the shooter is to blame for today's events. But you know, for the most part, social media was really used to convey information and all of these amazing pictures to really give us a feel for what it was like. And also, as we saw from the congressman's tweets, that really everybody at that scene, despite it being chaotic, was safe.